Hey everybody, happy Monday. Pastor Matt here with your Daily RPM. Hope you're having a great day. Hey, this week I'm going to be speaking to you about money. Oh, I know there's another preacher talking about money. Well, let me help you see what the Bible says about it because God wants to help you with every aspect of your life, including your finances. And I'm just, it's interesting to note, I guess, how much of our lives we spend in pursuit of money. We get up so we can go to work. We get ready so we can go to work. We put on clothes designed for our work. We go to work. We work. And sometimes we do work we don't like to do. We deal with people we don't want to deal with. We come home. We're tired and have to give our families our leftovers. And then we still have work to do at home. Why do we do all that? I'll tell you why. Because it takes money to live. And God knows that. And God put things in the Word of God to help us to have the finances we need. And this week, I want to be sharing just a few things. You know, before I share anything, I want to share a testimony with you. This happened to a person in my church. And he was praying, and he was actually praying out of Luke chapter 6, verse 38, uh, about give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. And recently, we took an offering in our church for orphans. And this, this man was going through a hard time financially. And he was asking God, God, I need to do better for my family. I need, God, you to help me. And he took an offering and he gave it and he marked it for orphans. He said, God, would you please help me? And you know the miraculous story that has come in. Not only did he get a job out of nowhere that gave him a wonderful salary, and I mean wonderful. And the benefits of that job, his children will be able to go and get their college educations for a fraction of the price at a very prestigious school. And then on top of that, he received an additional 20,000 US dollars of funds that he would not have to pay back. And it all came back to, he came to a place in his life and realized, I'm asking God to be involved in my finances and I'm going to be obedient in my finances. So as I teach you this story this, this, this week about finances, I want you to know God is in the business of helping you with your money, with your family. God loves you and cares about you. So tune in the rest of this week. God bless you. If you like this video, like and share and follow.